I just hold everything up. I've tried every configuration in my little house. And so far, um, my guest room and a table beside me or behind me is the best option. Teresa B. I know a Teresa, but she's a Teresa L. My daughter is Teresa and my mother. I named my daughter after my mother. My mom actually passed away a few years ago and my dad over 20 years ago. I cannot even believe that. It would be 22 years this June. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Okay, very good. That's fine. I am not in a rush. I, I guess I could put something up on the stage, uh, get, get that going. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I just found this, this uh, little trinket dish. I'm excited to show it to y'all. And I say y'all a lot, so forgive me. I should say friends. I always, I think about that. I'm like, y'all. I get called a Southerner all the time. And I'm actually, my dad was from the South. I was born overseas. Lived on the East Coast, Mid-Atlantic. Most of my life, I just moved out to Oregon three years ago. So if I sound like a Southerner, apparently people in Southern Maryland sound like Southerners. <laughs> That's where I was. Chuck County. This is a very exciting day getting to be on VAMP. I was actually signed up like, I don't know. I, I heard Misty and Michael talking about it and I was like, yes, I want to do that. So I signed up and got approved, and then I'm in the second round of the Blitz, and I'm really excited about that. Because I, I get the sense that different groups, marketplaces, like different things. And so I, that's probably why I didn't put in a bunch of Easter stuff, because I just, I know that there's little vintage -y things that, People in VAMP seem to gravitate towards. <laughs> Albie Vintage. Hi there. Oh, I'm sorry. What'd you say, Mike? Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. I appreciate you. <laughs> Keep me in track. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I uh, I was talking to Sienna earlier with this whole computer business, asking, should I get an um, Apple iPad? Is it going to work? I don't know. <laughs> I know my phone works good. I just can't, uh, I cannot ship from my phone. I'm not even sure if I can ship from an iPad. I have to ask her. Well, I did. I'm waiting for an answer. So, let's see. We got two more minutes. Welcome in, everybody. I'm so happy to see your names. Some of you I recognize and some of you I do not. I guess that's the way it is when you are in the Blitz. You don't know everybody because... There's a lot of people out there that are buyers that I have never seen their names before. Mostly the sellers I recognize. But hopefully you guys will come to recognize my stuff and follow me and share if you know anybody that I just pick up what I gravitate towards. <laughs> you will be able to watch the full lineup commercial free. <laughs> without having to jump to a different marketplace. Very good. Everyone ignores you if you're not a seller. I'm so sorry. That's the thing. I don't know who's a buyer and who's a seller. Uh, you're right, though. I'm, I'm, I'm probably guilty of that. Poppy, Poppy McGill. That's a cute name. I like that. I knew somebody with that last name and 
many, 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 many moons ago when I was in <laughs> in uh, grade school. Probably 50 years ago. No, almost. Yeah. More than 50 years ago. <laughs> we sure do. Are there some people? Oh, okay. And I got to remember to direct people over here. Or maybe, Michael, do you do that? If they're on Facebook or Marketplace? I mean, uh, you don't? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a raid! <laughs> it's a blitz! I'm sorry, it's a blitz! Hi! <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate you. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. I'm so happy to see these new names because I don't know everybody. Some of you I do, and I'm trying not to neglect people that aren't sellers. So I'm Cindy, also known as Blue Mountains Boho. And the reason why I chose that name, I was trying to be original. How original? Everything around here is called Blue Mountain something. Um, because we're living on the foothills of the Blue Mountains. Thank you for my good luck charm. Um, so uh, I do combine shipping. I just want you all to know that. And I am up to offers. If you see something in my buy it now and you think it's, you know, something you'd like, give me an offer. And good evening, everybody. So let me go ahead and start. I put something up. And here it is. It's a cute little kitty tray. Very good paint, no chips or cracks. And it's from the Los Angeles Potteries, California. Don't know when it was made, but usually that means it's pretty, been around for a while when it's got that mark. There's no chips or cracks, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it. It's um, starting at $8, 30 seconds. If you want the kitty kitty, meow, meow, meow. I never used to love kitties. And now all of a sudden I love kitties. I've been collecting kitties. <laughs> I used to have kitties. Oh, thank you for your bid, Karen. Um, I know the eyes are really good, aren't they? I found a Fenton glass kitty. Scoop that thing up. And, uh, Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Karen, you won. Congratulations. I will get the next item. Let me put it up on the stage. Um, these are two Inarco. I think it's Japan. These really, really pretty blue ceramic dishes. There's two here. Um, has a slight chip on this one. Wait a minute, where'd I, I? Right there, you can see it. And that was the only issue I could find. This one has the sticker still. You can see that. Um, and there's no damage. Oh, and then they both have their uh, Inarco and their, their serial number. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. I know, $8 for 30 seconds. You'll get both of them. I've had these for like a couple of years. I started thrifting when I moved out here to Oregon. Not long, cause I've moved in and I had nothing. I was, I'm one of these people that I take off and I sell everything and then I have to go and buy everything. <laughs> so, this is some of the things I picked up a couple years ago. <laughs> All right, let me go to the next item. We have this boho, I call it boho. Um, hot pad, I'm selling it for four bucks. 
Oh, they're learning. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it. There is, well, I don't know what this is. It's it's not anything like sticky. I think there was probably a um, original label there because it doesn't feel yucky or smell weird or anything like that. Anyway, I'm going to start that. 30 seconds, four bucks. <laughs> Looks like a birdie. You see the bird? I guess it doesn't matter which way you turn it. Do you feel it, see it better that way? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Thank you for your bid, Jenna. Or Gina. Is it Gina or Jenna? Very lightweight. My mother had a bunch of these growing up. So, of course, you know, whenever your mother has, you want. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh. Oh, thank you. You bought one of three? No, I only have one. I mean, three. You get all three. I don't know how I have that listed. I am so sorry. But you get three for that price. Thank you for your purchase. I appreciate you. All right, this next item I'm going to bring up is an oil lamp that has applied paint. Uh, paint? Applied? Uh, words are failing me. <laughs> I, I stuck it in the water. I brought it home and it had a little dust on it. I was like, oh, I'll wash it. This is before I realized some of the paint um, it just started melting off. I was like, oh, no. So I pulled it out right away. But other than the paint problems, uh, it's in working, good working order, I believe. It looks like somebody did burn it once, but I can't even smell anything. So it must have been a long time ago. Let me go ahead and start it. Five dollars. I know. Isn't that great? Hi, Susie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that handle, too. Made in Hong Kong. It says HK. You see that? Okay. 10 seconds. Thank you, Mom G. Appreciate you. Oh, Devin, Elise, thank you so much for your bid. It's very lightweight. It's not, I mean, it's well made, but it, you know, it is not going to cost a whole lot to send <laughs> in other words all right thank you so much and this is coming to you Devin. all right let me get now i'm gonna get this wood trivet um this was also something that i had growing up my mom had one on the table i did not get it i think my sister got it it's made out of wood, made in India. It's got some inlaid ivory. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Moody Mama. <laughs> that should be my name. <laughs> in fact, I think it is when my when my kids are talking about me. <laughs> anyway, it's in perfect shape. It's uh, the legs are all fine. They, they haven't been broken or come back, uh, been repaired. Anyway. It's, it's running, $4. Oh, wow. You know, my mom didn't have this. I think it's Mother of Pearl, but, I, you know, I, I'm not an expert. It's white-ish. I don't know if that, if that is, I don't know. Anyway, I love it. And if, I, if it, things don't sell, I'll just put them in my buy it now. She was like, yeah, it is, because that's when I was at home in the 60s and 70s. I've been gone since 76. <laughs> All right. And let me get another item. Let's see. Where'd you go? Okay. Now, this is two of them. I've lumped them together. I could have. two of them here. Same, same, same. You get both. I'm going to go ahead and start it. 30 seconds, six dollars. Kia Ora, what does that mean? Is that the name of this? Oh, 
Oh, thank you for your bid. Kia Aura. Who is, oh, Tracy, thank you so much. Appreciate your bid. If they were used, I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, your vases would look pretty on this. <laughs> thank you so much for your bid and for winning. Let me get the next one. I have one, one more. Um, and this, I can't tell what it is. It might be a bird. It might be an owl. It might be a cat. What do you all think? Can you see anything in there? It's something with wings. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and start it. 30 seconds, $4. <laughs> Thank you, Belgian hippie. <laughs> Probably an owl. I know. Owls were popular even back then. Where the wild things are. Yeah, it does. A cat. Yeah. I'm thinking you're right. A cat. <laughs> okay. No takers on that. Let me get the next item. And that is going to be this shelf sitter. I guess you call her. Um, keep her in a bag so she stays together with her little bumblebees. Here's the bumblebees. They're on blocks of wood. And everything is signed. You can see the signature. They were made at different times, so somebody must have bought the doll and then bought the bumblebees later. I'm not going to be able to hold all these up at once. Sorry. Here's the other bumblebee. The signature. No chips or cracks or whatever you would say on wood. Um, here's the other one, the little one. <clears throat> They're a baby, so you could just set them on a shelf. And I call her the garden angel. She's like a pillow or she's stuffed, but she's, you know, really uh, stuffed in there. Let me go ahead and start it. But she has the signature right here on the back. And she does have one piece of damage right here. The part of the roof came off. I'm thinking you could take that one off and then it would be fine. Or make another one. If you're so inclined, you kicked yourself out. <laughs> I do stuff like that all the time. <laughs> yeah, it is. I love it. Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh, wait a minute. That way. <laughs> All right. You go back in your bag, lady. <laughs> now we have this um, paper mache clown. He has a couple little flakes of paint missing, right? There, right there, and other than that, yeah, he's, oh, I'm sorry, one more right here in the back. He hangs on the string. I call him the trapeze artist. He's made in Mexico, uh, although it says Marlowe, Oklahoma here. Or I guess it's Oklahoma, and I, 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 but there is a signature. Ben Benihana, something Mexico. I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and start it for ten dollars. <laughs> no what? <laughs> oh, Misty Clatter. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I guess I didn't know that about Misty. She loves clowns, huh? I have another one. I'm gonna bring up. <laughs> 10 seconds. Anyway, here he is swinging on his trapeze string. <laughs> All right. T Blue, thank you. I thought it was over. Thank you so much. 
for placing that bid. The paint is really brilliant. I love it. Congratulations, you won that. Tea blue. All right, let's get, uh, I'm gonna get this woven basket. It's, it feels like ribbon. I don't know anything about crafting. I mean, I love to craft, but I don't know the names and stuff, but it's like a sturdy, I mean, it might be straw for all I know because it is so sturdy, but anyway, and it's kind of a brownish, but then in some light it looks purple, like eggplant. It's got that little embellishment on top, the flower, and all around the sides. Nicely woven. Great little storage thing. You could put something in there and give it as a gift. I'm going to start it. $10. 30 seconds. Welcome in, everybody. No chips or no damage, I should say. <laughs> Raffia. Yeah, but it's, is Raffia like uh, shiny? I thought it was dark, but yeah, maybe it, yeah, that's a good. I think I was going to actually use that word. <laughs> and then it escaped me when I was getting ready to do the description. I was like, well, all right. No takers. All right, let's see. I'm going to get this vase. It is from Seattle, Washington, and it is a beautiful pottery. It's made by the Bruning Pottery. And look at those colors. Isn't that pretty? Would look pretty for St. Patty's Day. No chips or crap. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. $12 for 30 seconds. Nice, hef, you know, not super heavy, but substantial. Yeah, the glaze is wonderful. I love that glaze. Thank you, Shane. Appreciate you. I have so much pottery. My very first uh, live on another platform was all my vases and pottery and Anyway, Shane, you won. This is coming home to you. And I still have a lot of vases and pottery, so I will probably be listing them. Um, I'm going to move this little, I don't even know if it's a trinket box. But it's very pretty. Somebody took a lot of care to make this. No signature, there's no, but look at the, the way it was put together because you'll see when I open it. Yeah, and, oh, and there's this little slot here. I wish somebody could tell me what that's for. And then you open it and then it's like this and this is open. I'm thinking it's a hidey hole for something. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Let me start it. $4. <laughs> It's a stamp dispenser. Oh my gosh, thank you. I've seen stamp dis dispensers before, but not like this. That is, that's what I was thinking, a proposal box. Or you could leave it on a shelf at night and your family members could come along and stick little love notes in there. <laughs> Rolls the stickers, exactly. I just thought it was too pretty to pass up. Well, I can't get the lid back on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Here we go. What else have we got up here? Um, I know I had more than this. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm going to move these little bottles to stage. There's uh, four Libby bottles. I They're cloudy in the bottom, but I think it's only because... I cleaned them really good, but I think I needed to put like alcohol or something in there to dry it up. But anyway, they're all 
find their little pinch bases, I guess you'd call them. I'm gonna go ahead and start at $8 for the four of them. Denture tap, I know I did. Well, did I use that on this? Maybe not. I was doing a lot one night and you see it's a uh, Libby in China. One cop said they were from the 1930s, but I don't think, were we getting glass from China in the 1930s? I don't know. I mean, like Libby glass? I don't know. Okay, let me get the next item. I need water or something. The weather here is so dry. Um... Let's see now we're okay there we go move to stage this next item is a galvanized tray and i'm going to say it's hand painted i can't imagine that it doesn't say that there's no markings as to who made it but it's so pretty i'm going to start it at six dollars 30 seconds but you can see that like house or bridge. And uh, I guess that's the keep, a bridge in the keep, <laughs> the castle keep. Oh, well, was China making it though? That's what I was wondering. Yeah, it would be great behind some things. Oh, thank you for your purchase. Oh, Mom G. Sorry, I can't. The lettering is. I can't read the purple for some reason. Well, I can't read a lot. <laughs> My vision is not the greatest. With this this light shining in my eyes, I'm going through here, and oh my goodness, I did all of it already. No way. Okay. Well, here's another item, and. Pretty sure it's vintage just because it looks it. It is a shoe brush. <laughs> I'm gonna start it now. It's made with a blend, blended horsehair. Anybody need a shoe brush? But it's got some paint marks on it. Or maybe that's polished marks. <laughs> oh good. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> The national bird, New Zealand's national bird. <laughs> are you from New Zealand? Or you just happen to know these facts? <laughs> no bids, okay. Uh, let's see, let me get the next one. Okay, so this I know is vintage. I mean, it just looks it. What am, what am I doing? Scrub brush. It's not made out of horse hair. Um, I was watching a uh, thrifted home. What's her name? I can't remember. And she sold uh, some of these brushes. And I thought, oh, maybe I could bring them and sell. Not these exactly, but the ones that were Mariana greetings from the other side of the globe. Oh, wow. Are you, where are you? Belgian. Oh, are you in Belgium? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's cool. My son went on a uh, work trip there not too long ago and brought me some stuff, little souvenirs back. Uh, this clown. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this one. We're running out of time. For some reason, the... the uh, the lineup is all messed up. Okay, so this is like Adam and Eve. Talk right now. Um, let me go ahead and start it. It's doesn't have any damage. I'm running it for thirteen dollars. It made in Mexico. It's signed right here. 
So that is Adam and Eve in the garden with the snake and the tree. <laughs> Five seconds. No damage. Okay. Let me get my next one. Is Eve twerking? I know. I'm like, <laughs> it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Let me bring these these still uh, still lifes up too. What we got five minutes. This is a paint by number. It was done in 1959. It's signed on the back. It says Oriental Lantern Tree. And so in 1959 by Howard somebody. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. $16. The frame is in pretty good shape for, the, for its age. I mean, I'm assuming it it had this on it the whole time. I don't know. It kind of looks like the vase I just sold. You are on vamp and international and doing great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. Now I'm rushing. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, where is the, oh, here it is. Move to stage. We're gonna go ahead and start it. This is another one. This one is called String of Jade. Can you see that jade string down there? Look a little bonsai tree. Nine seconds. That ring light is not helping. <laughs> Wee. All right, what do we got up next? Green light, I don't see a green light yet. Um, this little Jasperware. If you guys have anything you see, saw in the store that you want me to run like last minute, um, let me go ahead, oh wait. This is uh, not signed. It looks like uh, Wedgwood, but it's not signed. I'm gonna go ahead and start it does have one little oh it is running <laughs> boo boo right here it's missing part of the you see how the two pieces of uh the ribbon well this side just has the one ten dollars oh it ended okay all right, let's see. Let me, uh, one more. Um, how about this hand from the Urban Outfitters? I'm gonna start it, it's running. But this would be great for display. Oh, thank you, PB Fun. Does that mean peanut butter? Thank you for your bids. You guys should have told me what you want me to run. I should have said something. I got caught up in going from in order. <laughs> Thank you so much, y'all. It feels kind of like concrete. It's so hard. It does have two little scratches. I think I noted that in the description. <laughs> PB Fun, you're winning. It looks like you're going to go home. Uh, this is going to go to your home. You're going to your forever home. I had to, it's been a while since I've had it. I didn't want to give it up. The green light, do I see the green light? 
It's 3.59. Do I have time for one more? Uh, how about this? This little... art pottery bowl <laughs> doesn't it's not signed but and there's no damage on it ten dollars all right Oh, thank you so much. Um, is that your name? Marina? Kids? <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for coming in here and joining me. And I will be in Friday's show, The Vintage Kitchen. And I'm so glad that you guys uh, came along. And I'm going to send you to the next. Oh, wait a minute. Is this thing still running? Oh, no. Three seconds. What? It was running. <laughs> Bye. All right. Here I go. I'm going to. Yes. Raid and stream. Okay. Bye. <laughs> uh.